Hello! Let's set our time brains back to the early 1980s, when men were big, women's hair was even bigger, and video games were frickin' massive. So massive you couldn't always hold them in your hands, and they were known as tabletop games. For fairly obvious reasons. So we're gonna have a look at three old ones today, starting with the earliest. From 1980, Bambino presents boxing. Yep, Bambino boxing. Not literally a thing. They aren't like some Italian babies beating the shit out of each other. That would be horrible. This was quite a popular thing to the extent that I believe it had a television advert on uh, American television. Do a YouTube search. It might still be on there. Or it might not be. Who knows? Who cares? This is very beige. Also, there's a horrible dried sticker I haven't got off yet. But yeah, you can see the sort of weird late 70s still inspired um, curves and strange console sort of look. It looks more like something you'd control, I don't know, a satellite or some sort of remote missile from, as opposed to a video game. So, it's two player. Oddly, player two is on the left, player one is on the right. Also, rather than being called player two and player one, they're called two player and one player. Hey, it was the early days of video games when words were but candy in the minds of fools. As you can see, made by Bambino, it's called Boxing. There's a start and reset button, there's some switches and a screen. A screen that will light up with the infinite joys of men punching each other shortly. Um, and incidentally, they're not LEDs in these things. I think it's called VFDs, or Vacuum Fluorescent Displays. There we are. There's something for you to know and not care about. Knock em out boxing! I didn't know it's called knock em out. Right, have a quick look at the basic operating instructions. Decide the number of players, often a good idea, will be going with one. Select speed for competition, slowest possible because it's likely to be confusing. Press round reset button to begin each round, just like real boxing. Select your boxer's stance. Use these controls of two people playing to control left boxer's stance. Right. Select the type of punch to throw. How about one that lands? Use the controls if two people are paying to control left boxer. Right, I've got you, I think. Yeah. Maneuver your boxer to successfully knock out your opponent. Ah, bit of gameplay there. Power supply. Batteries 4C required. Yeah, you ain't kidding. In fact, all the games I'm going to be showing today use these same batteries, and I've only got four, so I'm probably going to have to fade out between them and switch out the batteries. Right, so controls look bloody dreadful. High, medium, low, that'll be the punches, presumably. And ducking normal and back, right, that's the stances, yes. I remember this, I have played it before. Um, well, I say remember, very vaguely remember. Right, Mac, normal ducking, Hi, that's really not a sort of nice intuitive setup, is it? Anyway, let's zoom in on the screen. That'll do nicely. My god, it's like looking up a Cylon's Minge or something. Right, skill level is currently off. That's probably about my skill level, but I'm going to move it on to one. Oh yes, there we are. Look at them go! D don't do that, lads, there might be children watching. Um, well, let's zoom in a bit more, actually. Uh, marvellous. You can see a sort of loose reflection of something. Oh, it's my head. I huh, thought I had one of those. I've seen it for a while. Right. There's a one in the corner. That'll be the round. Press the start reset button to begin. I am that one. This is the devious computer Evilton. Ready, steady, boxing. Normal stance. Yeah. Punch. Punch. Oh my god. What the fucking hell's going on? I don't remember being this obtuse. <laughs> Just arms or bits of arms floating in the air. I'm going to duck which apparently involves the removal of my torso. Um, can I punch from a ducking position? Yes! Ha ha! That's, that'll teach him. Is that a low blow? Go back to normal. Yeah, yeah. Or step back a bit. Oh yeah. Step back and have a bit of a jive. Right, go back in. Yeah, sock him. Am I hitting him? Is he hitting me? He was hitting me, apparently. Um, how do you actually win? Can you tell what's going on? Not at all, it's just total button mashing nonsense. Probably diverting for some children for a couple of minutes as they slap the buttons and go, Dad, he's cheating! And then Dad wonders why all his children sound like old men due to their voices. Go on then, can we get a knockout? Or... Actually, I'm going to turn the speed up and flick this over to two. Go! Doesn't seem to have made any difference at all. Maybe you can't change the speed mid-game. I don't really care. Go on, fall. Yay! He's, he's turned into an octopus? That's definitely a win. I remember when Muhammad Ali was fighting Sugar Ray Robinson, and Sugar Ray Robinson turned into an octopus, and that meant he lost. Right? That means I win. I just noticed something, actually. Turn that back on. Oh, that's odd. The uh, VFD looks kind of uh, blue through the camcorder, but it's green in real life. Wow. The nature of light, everyone. Well, that's Bambino boxing. To be honest, there's no skill involved at all, and you're just mashing buttons in the hope of winning. You know, like Tekken! 
<laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm here all week. Don't forget to tip your waitress. Right, um, time to uh, swap the batteries out of this and a fade to black, I feel. Hang on, I'm not done yet. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, guys. It's Astro Wars. Everyone of a certain age is now going Astro Wars, particularly if they're British. I don't know if it was sold in America or not. Probably. It was definitely sold in Japan under the name Super Galaxian, I believe, which should give you some idea of what sort of game this is. That's right. Galaxians. Yes, Astro Wars was like a staple of the Argos catalogue and other such uh, toy-bearing things back in the 80s, and many people got them for Christmas and that. I remember playing one briefly. It was pretty good, if I remember. <clears throat> it's from Grandstand, who licensed an awful lot of electronic games for kids to play at home. And as you can see, it looks even more like something out of aircraft traffic control than the last thing. It's directly out of a pushing tin, this one, I think. Um, you've got, again, somewhere you can plug it into the mains. We don't risk that. But no instructions. Maybe they've been peeled off over the years. Maybe there weren't any. I can't remember. I'll tell you what, that was bloody filthy. I wish I'd cleaned this before having a go on it, actually. Ugh. It also occurs to me I haven't tested this one, which is really stupid for something I'm about to record a video on. It may not end up in the video at all, in fact, and you'll never hear these words I'm saying, which is good, because I hate you all. Ugh. Right, power on. Let's see if we can get this running. This is actually quite a slightly uh, concave thing here. I'm reckoning that's a lens to uh, make the screen look slightly bigger. So I'm going to have to angle it up, I would guess. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> What's I saying about not testing it? Shit. Oh, no, we're going. Excito music. Yay, there we are. I do hope that has... Uh, focused on it. I can't really tell through the viewfinder. Right, I won't select, I'll just start immediately. I can't see the proper screen, I'll be playing entirely through the viewfinder. Damn you alien scum, you're different to me and must therefore be eradicated. Mind you, you are also shooting missiles at me and that's very rude. This is already like a billion t million times better than bloody Bambino boxing. As you can see, it's move left, right and shoot, and that's your lot. I do seem to remember a level where you had to, like, dock your spaceship with something. Whoa! Deary me, you have to... Please stop shrieking at me. You really do have to move out of the way very early on. Come on, that last one. Yay! The insufferable ticking noise is over. Oh, there's another one. Damn you. Bloody hell. Ha ha. Bloody oars. He's got a bee in his bonnet, this one. Or maybe he is a bee, and we're fighting in a bonnet. My god, I don't know anything anymore. Why can't I shoot those little bastards at the top? I hate them. I hate their stupid faces, and I can't even see their faces. They don't even have faces, and I hate them. And there we are. This is boring as hell. It's just like fighting an angry metronome, by the uh, sounds. I think I'll just stand here and just repeatedly press one button and not move, and eventually he'll move into the way and die. Oh god, I'm actually going to have to go out of the way. Oh, for Pete's sake, how many of these bloody things left to shoot? Answer, too many. Yay! Now we're talking. Oh god, now it's them. Oh god, now we don't like them. <laughs> They've got lots of missile powers. I would try and time it, but I can't work it out for the life of me. <laughs> due to the slightly glitchy nature. We've won the war. And now we're flatulent. Oh, this is the docking thing. Right, it shoots right up to the top. Oh, stop shouting now. Oh, God, my... Um, what's that? Oh, yeah, I can... Oh, right, you can't control the bottom thing. You have to just sort of flatulate a bit. Oh, no. Oh, I've missed. And lost all my score or something. And now it all begins again. Oh, I didn't lose all my score. Oh. This is much shorter and less exciting than I remember. It is indeed a billion to million times better than Bambino boxing, but then again, so is slamming your fingers in the fridge door. And that button is really knackered. I had to really jam on that in order to get it running. Oh, well, yeah, hmm. Well, we would have liked it in the 80s, but then again, our brains hadn't formed due to our youngness. Next game. Next on our tabletop adventure, it's Super Kong, which is of course the sequel to Adequate Kong, which was the sequel to Incompetent Kong. Yep, obviously a ripoff of Donkey Kong. I'm genuinely looking forward to playing this one, or you've never played it. Um, I did test the unit briefly and it turned on. So that sounds good. Right, we've got a lot of the playfield actually drawn on, 
which is always fun to go into your friend's house and scratch it off. Uh, Super Kong, score, maximum points and remaining time, remaining heroes, and they are, I think they're supposed to be the ladders. Yep, if you're going to get a graphic designer to do something that involves ladders, make sure he knows what a ladder is, because this one clearly didn't. These just look like two bricks with antenna. Right, jump and repeat is the button. Up, down, left, right is the joystick. I can pretty much handle that. Ugh, I think the top of the joystick's come off for reading a horrible rusty screw. This thing's ancient. Uh, got it in the big box of something many years ago, but we never got round to for a project that never happened. Ah, working in the media. Super Kong! Guide your hero past the dangers being thrown in his path by Super Kong. His purpose is to rescue the girl from Super Kong's clutches. Ooh, for some reason she's inside Super Kong's engine. Um, is the hero going to be Mario? I wouldn't have thought so. Part 1. Use the ladders to ascend through five stages of game. What, you mean like pheasants and that? You must avoid rocks on all levels. Trucks on level 3, and fireballs on level 4. Does that mean the fireballs don't hurt you on level 3? I'm confused. When you reach level 5, Super Kong carries off the girl. Yeah, I know that feeling. And part 2 starts automatically. Part 2. Use the ladders and escalators to ascend through the game stages. Collecting the girl's possessions gains you extra points. No, I'm pretty sure that gains you extra time on your uh, prison sentence for theft. Bloody hell, this is weird, isn't it? So basically... The bloke who's the hero of this game thinks he can avoid being friend-zoned by climbing vertically quite a lot. Fair enough. So how are you going to climb not vertically? You could go horizontally, shimmy along. Oh, I don't know. Let's turn it on and play. Right, I'm going to go for A. I suppose sound like that. I love the look of Kong there. I don't know if you can make him out. <laughs> All right, lads. How you doing? Right, what's going on here? Um, oh, God, I'm barely... Oh. Oh, I wasn't pressing the button, I was pressing near the button. I'm having to hold this up for the camera, and it is not designed to be held up. Hence, um, tabletop. Oh, there we go. Oh, God, right. So I'm trying to not get hit by the baubles. And climb up these ladder things, which aren't even in the right frickin' position. Doesn't help, guys. What is Kong doing? I don't think he even knows what he's doing himself. Oh, what is that red thing? Is it bouncing, is it? Is it mental? I don't... I'm going under it. Oh! Balls and flip! Ugh. Back to the bottom again. I always like Donkey Kong, but I'm not enjoying this one much. It's a bit of a pain in the arse. Right. Jump the bauble, young man. You will not regret this course of action. Alright, over we go. Oh yep, see what's happening here. Go! Go! Oh yeah! Oh god, he's eating her! And everything's teleported. What the bloody hell's happening now? Oh, oh, Fawn's been death. Game over. Whoa, that's crazy. So all those platforms are sort of moving around. You still have to go vertically. I wonder if it changed into like a maze game or something. Answer, it had not. Hmm, I fancy another go at that, but you probably don't fancy seeing the first bit again. So let's jump cut immediately to level two. You will notice we have not jump cut to the second level. This is because I couldn't get off the first level despite eight repeated attempts, and by holding it in front of the camera the whole time, my back is now killing me. Well done, Super Kong. You can go back to CGL and claim victory. Deary me. This isn't a very good one, you know. I'm gonna be... Oh. I've killed it. It won't turn on anymore. Oh, here we go. And the music. It's like a Dalek giving birth. Right, let's have a quick look at the graphics. The little man's a bit blobby. The woman just looks like the sign on the toilet door. And that's amazing. It looks more like the Silver Skull or something. The Silver Skull has abducted this woman and... Yeah, I've climbed up some scaffolding and... Yeah, didn't really think this one through. Anyway, this is NAF. Yeah, I was looking forward to this, but it suffers from all the old VFU game problems like... Controls that move about three hours after you push the stick. Um, the stick, of course, being horrible and difficult to use anyway. Um, the ladder's being shown in the wrong position, which, you know, you soon get round, but is irritating nonetheless. And perhaps, worst of all, it's almost impossible to time anything because nothing quite clicks through as you expect it to. Everything... Oh, look, exact time periods. But your little man, he doesn't quite live in the same universe as they do. So away you go, Super Kong. Back to the cupboard from which you came. And by cupboard, I mean that plastic box in the garage where I keep these things. And the saddest thing is that Super Kong there is actually the most recent game by far. Bambino Boxing 1980, Astro Wars 1981, Super Kong 1985. There is no excuse. Anyway, that was the 80s. And that's all you'll ever need to know. History lesson over. Bye. Yeah!